everybody, I'm the Otaku Artist, and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In the last episode, we entered the Twilight Realm, found out, oh boy, that Minda's the Twilight Princess, and that she's actually not an imp, that she was cursed to look like that way by Zant, who usurped her throne, and we came back and got two souls and powered up our Master Sword after facing Master and Crazy Hand. <laughs> and in this episode, we are going to enter the main part of the palace and try and defeat Zant. So we're going to go on here, and now that our Master Sword is powered up, we now have the power of, um, basically what the souls are, we have that, we now have the power. And jeez! That's powerful. Do this. Yeah. Very cool. There's some birds flying around, but other than that, eh, it's fine. Okay, so into the main part of the palace we go. Okay, so now we don't, we're not going to go straight. Instead, we're going to go up. Because Zant never designed stairs. Because the Twilight don't know what stairs are. <laughs> So we have to do it with the power of math. <laughs> You'll see what I mean in a second. So get away, you dumb bat. Okay, so just swing your sword as you're walking. So do you see these guys? These are like little mini souls. Beta souls, if you will. I don't know, I'm just making it up. Also, I need to kill you guys. Anyway, we're going to place this here. And basically, it's like a mini soul. We don't have to worry about any. Oh, you jerk. We don't have to worry about Master and Crazy Hand coming. Um, but basically, they work the same way. I said we don't have to carry them um, to any place. We just gotta insert them in their proper place. So yeah. So the gimmick of this dungeon is really cool. I really like it. I just wish it was a bigger dungeon. I mean, it still takes, um, about the same amount of time as a different dungeon, um, if you're playing through it fairly quickly as I am, but, eh. Still would've liked that, but I do really like this dungeon. Alright, um... Okay, I guess we're just going on an elevator ride. Hello! Go away. There we go. It's interesting to see, uh, what?! Okay. Interesting to see, um, like, Deku Babas and stuff, because those are, um, normally enemies we see on the other world. And jeez, I do one hit because of my powered up sword. Um, so it's kind of strange to see all these normal enemies, you know, in the Twilight Realm. Like, you'd think that you'd see different enemies, since we're in, like, another dimension. Just a thought. J just a thought. I didn't mean to do that. Alright. Oh, I was gonna test that on the hand. Oh, well. Small key. Also, I don't even think you can go in back and activate the... the hands. I don't think they'll do anything now since we already got the souls. So, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure if we just go back, the hand's just gonna be in its place for all eternally. All eternally? Eternity. Um, did I miss any? No, I didn't. Okay, there's three chests in the second floor. Hmm. Wow. Oh, I forgot. I love I love this balcony. And also this is where Minda was cursed. So yeah. I really, really like um um, how Minda isn't just an imp, how she was cursed to look that way, and she actually doesn't look like that. I think that's so cool. Super cool character design and character development, and you can go away. So, yeah. That's why Minda's a fan favorite with everyone. <laughs> wow, we do one hit because of our powered up sword. Excuse me. Alright, there's a chest up here. Yep. 
A AKA the rule of thumb with any video game is behind a waterfall always lies a secret. Even if that waterfall is made out of darkness. <laughs> like seriously. I love the waterfalls. Um, there's probably some secrets there too. You know, just oh, it's the bus key. There we go. And it actually looks especially cool here because it really matches the Twilight Realm atmosphere. Whatever you call it. Jump! Oh no, 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 no! Okay, maybe not the greatest idea by me. Maybe not the smartest idea by me. But it, also, I'm gonna use my great fairies tears. Why not? You can get um, one whenever, like Grandma's Soup from Moon Waker. And whoever hasn't played Wind Waker is gonna be like, what? Grandma Sue, what are you talking about? Um. Whoa, that was really cool. But yeah. Grandma Sue. Which is like the best healing thing in like Zelda games. I mean, I, I it's it's pretty much the same thing. Um as Great Fairy Tears or Golden Shoe Jelly. Except instead of it, um, the double damage, like, being gone after, like, a few moments, instead it's actually gone until you get hit by something. So that's really cool. So, and also, I think it does four times damage, not two times damage. Could be wrong about that, though, so don't take my word on it. But, um, that's really cool. So what I normally do is, um, since Grandma Soup you can get infinitely, but you can only have one bottle of it at a time. Um, I normally walk outside, drink it, and then go back in. So I have double damage or four times damage on me for a while. So, yeah. I love how I'm giving tips about Wind Waker when we're playing Twilight Princess. Hmm. I will be doing Wind Waker Let's Play, but I will not tell you when. <laughs> I will do it... sometime. Um, whatever. <laughs> I, I'm not actually sure what I'll do with Waker, but sometime in the future. Because I love Zelda games. I am, like, the biggest Zelda fan, like, ever. I love Zelda. It's my favorite thing. Like, if Zelda didn't exist, I would not be the video game nerd I am today. Or anime fan, for that matter. So, yeah, it's my favorite, so you can expect a Let's Play of every single Zelda game. Um, except maybe, like, if they're not on Virtual Console, for because uh, at the moment I have no way to record 3DS stuff. So, yes. Hey! So sorry about that. If it's not on Virtual Console at the moment, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Oh! Did I cheat this? I didn't cheat this system. Hey! Everyone's dead. <laughs> Alright, now... I see that there's a chest on the map, but... Hmm. Yeah, it's definitely up there. Okay. Oh, come on! That's not fair. Okay. Now, power this up. And hit it. See, this is a really cool dungeon, I really like it, but again, it's not like other dungeons, you know? Did I pick the right way? Yeah, I picked the right way. I actually don't think it matters what way you pick. Okay. It's also neat how the cross shot is used so much. <gasps> it would have been really cool if the Dominion Rod was used a lot here. That would be pretty neat, because the Dominion Rod- also, I'm gonna grab the Dominion Rod, actually. Yeah, the Dimension Ball actually matches the color of this exceedingly well. Also, get up there. Oh, I missed. Wait. Oh, I was like, wait a minute. I hear something. There we go. Hey, get away. Oh, I almost dropped. And also... Aw. Oh, it would have looked really cool here, but there's no pose here, surprisingly. Huh. Well, yeah, I mean, we finished Giovanni, but it is kind of interesting that there's no pose. 
Um, here. Excuse me, man! Okay. Also, I think the chest, um, is just the uh, key chest. I don't think it's a uh, chest, like, for collectibles. Come on! Hit me if you can! Bet you can't! Looky there, you can't. <laughs> also, bows aren't- uh, 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 Arrows aren't going to do any damage. We- the only thing that can damage it is either you as a wolf or your sword. So either your teeth or your sword. Pick your poison. Die. One hit. Oh, I'm gonna stand here. Oh my gosh! Oh, I'm magic! I'm magic! <laughs> oh my gosh. I've never actually done that before. Well. Don't you feel special, Link? I am the king of chests. <laughs> that is cool, though, that you can do that. I wasn't sure if it's gonna let me do it or if it was gonna push me away like there was some sort of invisible wall, but no. It let me. Okay, and now we've unlocked this, which is going to let us be able to go to here, which is the final room. So that was quicker than I suspected. We're going to fight Zamp. There's gonna be a piece. Never mind. There's not gonna be a fairy. I thought. I think there's a fairy down there somewhere, but I'm not sure. Anyway, ooh, that's right. Um, make sh um sure that you that you are. You have stuff equipped on you, just multiple stuff, because you're going to be using a lot of items in this fight. Oh, boy. Oh. Yeah, oh, there's a fairy in this room. That's right. So we're going to make, basically, if this is right before the throne room. Because we're making a way to the throne room, because wouldn't you know it, Zant is so egotistical that even if, since he's such a usurper, he's just gonna chill in the throne room. Hey, and I don't wanna be a hum- a, a wolf. I wanna be human! Human! Oh, more. You guys were a threat once- once upon a time, not anymore. Oh! Except maybe when you're- never mind, you're not a threat still. How many? Jeez! Oh, Any more? Any more? Nope, we're good. Okay, um, get out. Uh, empty bottle. There should be one fairy here. Yep. Generally, there's a fairy before every boss fight. And if it isn't, it's because it didn't spawn for some reason. Um, so that's good. So I have two fairies on me. How about three? No, but one rupee. Very helpful. Alright, get ready for the fight against Sant. The fight we've all been waiting for. Sant. Isn't this ironic? Here we are, all thanks to the dark magic curse you placed on Link. You speak of magic? Steal your tongue for a moment, whelp, and I will tell you of both magic and the oppression of ages. The people of our tribe, a tribe that master the arts of magic, were locked away in this world like insects in a cage. In the shadows we regressed so much so that we soon knew neither anger nor hatred, nor even the faintest bloom of desire. 
and all of it was the fault of a useless, do-nothing royal family that had resigned itself to this miserable half-existence. I had served and endured in that depraved household for far too long, my impudent princess. And why, you ask? Because I believed I would be the next to rule our people. That is why. But would they acknowledge me as their king? No, and as such, I was denied the magic powers befitting our ruler. It was then, in the thrill of hatred and despair, that I turned my eyes to the heavens and found a god. I show house my power in you. If there is anything you desire, then I shall desire it too. My God had only one wish. To merge shadow and light and make darkness. Usurper King Xanth. So Xanth's crazy. <laughs> um, Xanth is practically completely insane. As if we didn't already know that. Alright, so basically... Wow, this... We have not seen this room in a long time. So basically, Xant is gonna go through every single boss fight we ever did. So you want to use the dungeon item of that battle. I think this is one of the coolest boss fights. Like, honestly, I think this might be my... Hmm... This... It's definitely one of my favorite boss fights in Cloud Princess. And it's one of the more difficult ones, I should say. Um, because instead of, like... Also, I, I don't know why I didn't think to do that. Um, because you have to use everything you've learned. So that's really cool. And also, that means that Zant was watching us. Because he knows of, like, what we went through. Like, also the water, I think, is poisonous, just so you know. Okay, so now that we're done with the forest temple phase, now we're moving on to... Oh, it's the mini boss. It's actually not the boss. Let me get on my iron boots. Okay. Oh, man. And I love how the music is, like, all crazy. Like, it's like the music from when we actually fought this. But it's all, like, crazy right now. Which is really cool. And it's also kind of nostalgic and nice that after all this, we're at the end of the game, and now we're able to see what we've accomplished and where we, like, have done. Which is really cool! I think this is one of the most creative boss fights, in my opinion. And also, I think it's the most creative one of Cloud Princess, to be quite honest. Anyway, now that we're done with that, now we're on to the Lake Bed Temple. So, you want to pause the game really quick and get on your lieutenant. Also, I wonder if you take drowning damage if you have the magic armor on. And I want to find out. So you want to have the iron boots and a claw shot. Oh, I forgot. 
that he does that. Get out of the way. Okay. Okay. It's also impressive that the game's able to load in all these areas at once. Okay, and attack. Hey, you're gonna swim away! Come on, man! Alright. Okay. Rinse and repeat. I think it's better to just stay on here than swimming around. Okay, and now after he's done with that... There's gonna be multiple! One of them will have zamped. One. So you gotta keep an eye out. Which one will have zamped? This one. Never mind, it isn't. It's this one. So never mind, you wanna swim. Oh. Which one is it? This one! Come on! Okay, iron boots. Oh, what, what is going on? I was like locked in claw shot mode. And mode? Mode. Also, yes, I know I'm low on hearts. I'm just gonna use an amiibo of mine. Oh! Okay! Oh! He mixed it up! Instead of going to the next one we have to go to, he went back to the Force Temple. That's actually really cool! Um, I'm gonna go back to my normal lair. And pause the game. We can use this, actually. Okay. Go, go, go. Okay. <laughs> it is butt. <laughs> wow. I wonder if you hack the game and walk out that door, if it would teleport you to the forest temple. Um, because since this is the map of the boss battle forest temple, I wonder where it would put you. Or if that door even could function. And I love this. And if you listen, it is actually a remix. Zant version of all the boss battle themes. So, that's really cool. Wow. Okay, hit your foot. And he's like, oh no, he hit my foot! <laughs> now if this doesn't prove that Zan's crazy, I don't know what will. You're tiny! Get away! You know, I, I think this might be my... This might be my favorite boss fight now that I think about it. And then the Druidal one, and then the dragon. Crap. Every time I play Twilight Princess, it's like I change what my favorite is. Because they're also great. That just shows you how great this game is. Alright, where are you gonna take me now? Oh, this is the final version! Now he has teleported outside Hyrule Castle. Now I really wanna hack- Oh, he has his famous scimitars! Hmm, I, I wonder where you could go. Oh, it's not even like a real map because look! It looks different, like it's more... Yeah, it doesn't have everything that it should have. Huh, interesting. Boundary break, could you please explore? <laughs> Hello. So he's gonna use scimitar attacks, so watch out. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think this is my favorite boss battle. I mean, it really is really cool. Really is really cool. I just really I, Again, I use really... Okay, what are you doing? Come on, man. Apparently, a big metal ball of iron won't do anything to you, but swords are- uh, Excuse me, man. Oh, no. Jeez! Okay, what is wrong with- Okay, he's going crazy, which means he has only, like, one hit left. Wait a minute, is that a fountain? Is- is there a fountain normally there? I'm actually pretty sure there's not a fountain normally there. Is there? Huh. Someone in the comments please tell me if there's normally a little fountain bird bath there. Oh! Okay, I have one more fairy now. Jeez, what is wrong with you? Well, again, you're Zant. You're nuts and insane, but... Uh, whatever. Oh, one more attack should do it. Come on, man. Oh, now he's... Okay, it doesn't help when you're super insane. I don't think we should attack right now. I think we should just wait till he gets exhausted. 
Okay. Okay, run away. Okay, he's gonna get exhausted, and now... Goodbye, Zant. Never mind, it's not the last attack. Jeez! Um, Mr. Insane Man, go away, please. Hey, there we go. The Usurper King is finally gone. Why none would call you king? It was your eyes, Zant. All saw it. A lust for power burning in your pupils. Did you think we'd forgot our ancestors lost their king to such greed? Minda. Foolish Twilight Princess. The curse on you cannot be broken. It was placed on you by the magic of my god. The power you held as leader of the twilight will never return. Already has descended and been reborn in this world. As long as my master, Ganon, survives, he will resurrect me without ease. of the power that's in me now. I did that only using a fraction of my ancestor's magic? Link, now is the time. We must save Z Zelda. The evil power Zant was wielding. I couldn't take it from him, but at least I still have the magic of my ancestors. With it, I can return the cherished power Zelda bestowed upon me. Now, let's go. Princess Zelda is waiting. Ooh, boy. Just saying, I love how Minda killed Zamp. I think that was amazing. And that's exactly what he deserved. And look at that! We only need... I think it's like four more heart pieces left. Um... Or three. One, two... I, yeah, it's three. So we only, only have... Oh, we only need three more pieces of heart left. So we'll be getting that next episode. And look at that! I am now the real king of the Twilight Realm. <laughs> so... Zant's insane, Ganon's back, and Minda, <laughs> Zant got his just desserts. I think the way Minda killed Zant was really, like, good, because Zant, come on, he needed that. So let us say goodbye to the Twilight Realm and go out. So Ganondorf was just using Zant to help him return to the World of Light. I guess now we know the true nature of that barrier over Hyrule Castle. He's in Hyrule Castle, I'm sure of it. Princess Zelda is in great danger. We must return to the World of Light and hurry to the castle. But we're not gonna do that right now. So I think this, a lot of stuff has happened. I think that's enough for this episode. So, in the next episode, we're gonna do one more thing before 
hurrying to Hyrule Castle. In the next episode, we're going to start it off by me quickly grabbing the three remaining pieces of heart. And, after that, we're going to be taking on our second and last optional dungeon. Which, let's, let's just, let me just say, is super hard. <laughs> super, super, super hard. Which is the Cave of Shadows. Only available in this version of the game. So, if you want to see me rage, tune in for next episode. Which is actually the last extra thing before we actually are going to go to Hyrule Castle and end off the game. So, if you enjoyed and want to see me rage next time, tune in next time. So, I'm the Otaku Artist, 